All right, I got an email from um, Ethermine saying that something was going on with my one of my systems. And obviously, like it started like nose diving. I go out, log into Simple Miner, and look at that: 212 restarts. I did have Power Flicker, so both of these have a restart. They've been up for, this one says one hour, this one says seven hours. I don't know why that one just restarted. Anyway, 212, it's only been up for four minutes. So I'm going to go upstairs and see what's going on with that. Uh, let's, come on with me. All right, guys, let me turn this fan down a little bit just so we can try to hear. This is my 1060 system right here. Um... Visually, let me just inspect the wires first. Make sure nothing like is burnt up. This one feels a little warm back here, but nothing seems out of the ordinary. Let me turn it off. Power it down. Check all my connections. Everything's tight. What well, going into here? Okay. Well, now all the graph, all the, all the risers seated. That's what I normally check for right off the bat. If the, any of the wires are showing anything weird, any of the cable connections have become kind of undone, anything like that, anything's hot to the touch, like the wires, um, everything seems to be okay here. Everything's seated. So that's good. Um, and now, maybe it just needed a good old fashioned restart. And uh, let's go down. St oh, actually, I have a monitor. So I could plug it in. But let's go downstairs and watch it all boot up and um, that way, you know, we can we can sit in the comfort. Don't mind the mess. I was like diagnosing some other stuff. So I got like motherboards everywhere and uh, I just need to clean up this whole room and get it ready for the, uh, the future plans. Uh, the future plans are, at the current moment, well, we'll just save that for later. All right, so now the next thing I do for troubleshooting is I'll actually just um, open up my console right here. And um, especially if I'm not using the computer or sitting right here in front of it, I went ahead and reset all my counters. So it's been up for about two minutes since I walked downstairs. Uh, but I'll open up the console and I'll leave my screen recording software recording when I'm not like in front of the computer if I'm in front of the computer then I have it on my other monitor right beside it and I just literally watch it and wait for an error to show up um, it's not it's probably not the most ideal way to figure it out uh, but when something's not rearing its head right away uh, that I mean you know it is what it is um, I have got lucky a couple times and it's done like you know got stuck in a boot loop and literally just powering it down for a minute and then powering it back up has basically fixed everything. Um, and then I have had an issue where I had a Molec, or I mean a SATA cable burnout, and it gave me all kinds of weird, like funky stuff. But that one was super obvious. Like I felt the wires and like I figured it out right away. Uh, right now, this doesn't seem to be the case with this one. Um, I went back on to Ethermine and it's showing that um, I'm getting a reported 119 mega hash, so that's good. Um, this should start coming back up. Um, it only reports every, I don't know, every 10 minutes, I think. Yeah, every 10 minutes, so uh, I don't know. I'm gonna give it about probably 30 minutes to an hour and see what it looks like. If it's recovering and going back up, we should be good to go and back in business. So uh, yeah, that's, that's what we're looking like. We'll check back in later. Alright guys and girls, I'm back. It's been a little over an hour, I believe, and you can see when I went and did that, that power off and then power back on right here, 
um, you know, my reported hash rate shot right back up and it's been holding steady. So now my average hash rate is slowly creeping up. That'll take a little while to meet there in the middle. Um, and hopefully it won't be as, as jumpy. I know the, uh, the current hash rate does jump around a lot, but, uh, the average hash rate, I want that to be a little bit more stable. So, uh, now going over to simple mining, we have rig uptime one hour, 19 minutes. So she seems to be stable. I really don't know what my issue is, but I am going to be switching out. Uh, I had two power supplies daisy chained on that. Um, I want to switch this all over to a server power supply and um, just to get it on to a more stable setup. That way I don't, because I do still have, I'm running some Molex and SATA adapters and I don't really like that. Um, you know, it gives some room for error or some room for problems. So hopefully just me having these issues and showing them to you and kind of how I go through diagnosing my system um, helps you out. Now, if I did run into another problem, um, my next course of action would be to unplug every single graphics card except for the first one power it back up and let that card run and see if I have the issue if I didn't have the issue then I would plug in the second card and then let it run for another hour and see if I had the issue until I have all the cards plugged in or I found which card or riser is giving me the problem that's kinda how I've how I've diagnosed everything so far and it's it's pretty much led me on a good track so um, I hope this helps you out. Uh, if you have any questions of anything, just give me a shout down below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Adios.